What's up guys? So we got a question from George who is 18 years old and he's wondering if he's too old to become a high level Jiu Jitsu competitor someday and he's wondering what he should do to become a Jiu Jitsu instructor. And, and by the way George, you are lean bro, like you're, you're ripped. Like there's a picture of him like with a side by side, George was a big chubby kid at one point, like big chubby teenager and then afterwards like he's lean out as can be, it looks like he's going to step on stage for a bodybuilding contest. So congrats on that dude. So. I'll talk about the instructing part first, the instructor part, and then I'll talk about the idea of becoming a high level Jiu Jitsu competitor. So as far as becoming an instructor, I think the best sort of route to take is to fill your cup up, right? So imagine a cup, and imagine every one of your experiences that you have in Jiu Jitsu fills it up a little bit, right? Go experience as much as you can and fill that cup up as full as you can get it. So this way when you become an instructor, you can sort of dole it out to other people and help fill their cups up. You know, to me, that's the way that Jiu Jitsu works as an instructor, right? You build yourself up so you can build up others. Simple enough, right? As far as be becoming a high level Jiu Jitsu competitor and whether or not you're too old, it's possible. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. I don't know. You know, when I was looking at that picture of you, I was thinking about this. I know that when I was a big, big kid, right? When I was a chubby, fat kid, I remember looking at pictures of guys that were muscular, that were strong, and I would see those guys, and I would look at it, and I would want that, but then in the, my inner voice inside would be like, you're never gonna look like that, you're fat. You're always gonna be fat, fatty, right? Enjoy, it was just so negative. And then eventually I made it happen. It's like almost like, I was almost trying to get revenge on my inner voice sometimes, you know, when I, when I was training really hard or dieting. And I bet, I imagine, I don't know, but I imagine the same was probably similar for you, George, where when you were this chubby kid, you were looking at, you know, pictures of muscular guys, or I bet if we could take a picture of you now and put it in front of your person who you were, the big chubby kid that you were in the past and say, hey, do you think you'll ever look like that? You'd probably shake your head and be like, no way. But you did it, right? And in your situation now, you're looking at this thing in, in front of you that you want. You want to be a good jiu-jitsu competitor. And you're thinking, man, I really want this. But head's going, you're too old, right? The head's thinking too much and you're overthinking it and you're telling yourself you're too old. Here's what I would say to you, man. If you want to become a high level jiu-jitsu competitor, it's possible. I know guys that have you know, started later on in life, like in their like late teens or 18 years old and have done really well and competed at high level tournaments, right? So that's up to you, man. I don't know if you can or can't. If you surround yourself with the right people, if you put yourself in the right situations, if you make the right sacrifices, you can definitely become a high level jiu-jitsu competitor. I think it's possible. But whether I say yes or no doesn't really matter. What matters is you take action towards what you want to do. And if your heart's telling you to go do jiu-jitsu and be a high level competitor, go do that, man. Go, go after it. And the worst thing that'll happen is that you'll chase this dream that you have. And the worst thing that'll happen is that you'll, you'll chase it and maybe you fall short of it, but you have all these experiences that you've collected. And then you can go back to your other part of it about being an instructor and you can take all these experiences that you've collected and you'll have this cup brim just overfilling with experiences that you then can dole out to other people. So that's what I'd say, brother. Whether or not whether or not I say yes or no doesn't really matter. What matters is you go after the thing that you want. So good luck to you, George. And again, congratulations on that weight loss, man. That's super impressive. And uh, guys, I'll talk to you next time. <music>